Hi everyone, it's Tammy, and today we're going to make slow cooker broccoli and cheese soup. And this is super easy. I have six cups of water in here, and to that I'm going to add six tablespoons of my Better Than Bouillon base. It's for seasoned roasted chicken, um, so it's just uh, like chicken bouillon, only I really like this a little better. It just really makes things taste richer, and I don't know, I even think it's cheaper because you it's just a teaspoon of this per cup of broth so or pour per cup of water to make the broth so I just really like this and I would highly recommend it I will try to remember to put all the ingredients in the instructions below because I didn't do a lineup but it's super easy I think there's six ingredients plus salt and pepper which I don't really include so then I'm going to add to that two cups of cream or milk And I'm, this is a 16 ounce container, so I'm just going to pour all of that in there. And I happen to have cream, so I like it with cream. I'm going to stir this up some more. And we're going to add a little bit of nutmeg, about a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Anything that I cook that has a broccoli or spinach or green vegetable base with some cream, I usually like to add nutmeg, and this is just about a half of a teaspoon of nutmeg. I know that sounds weird, at least it did to me when I first started cooking, but I don't know, it works. I'm just trying to get that little bit of base still off and then to thicken this up we're going to because that's obviously very thin we're going to need some cornstarch and let's see it's about it's about two-thirds of a cup so it's it's kind of a lot of cornstarch and I'm just gonna add to watch I'm gonna need some more here soon I'm getting out, but it's just going to thicken this up really nicely. And you can add more things if you like. If you want to add carrots to it, you can. I'm not adding carrots to this one. At least I don't think so. If I have some in the fridge, I might. But The cornstarch is a little better at not clumping. But, and I should have ordered, I should have added it slowly as I stirred, but I did not. But it's okay. It's not like flour. Thank goodness. Otherwise, I would have been messed up. All right. And then I'm going to add about a half a cup of chopped broccoli. No, I'm not. About a half a cup of chopped onion. Or about half of an onion chopped. And I just have this frozen, so I'm just using that. And then I'm going to add, this is a 32 ounce bag of broccoli that I have. It's just cut broccoli. I'm going to add most of this. Probably about 20 ounces. And that's it. I will cook this on low for about eight hours. And then when I get home from work, I will add some cheese, about three cups of whatever kind of cheese you like. I will be using cheddar, but if you had like a combination of some of the fancy cheeses, I'm sure that would be delicious too. Like some of them that melt really well, like Gruyere or whatever. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And I'm just adding some salt and pepper, not a ton. And there we go. I'm going to put the lid on and we are underway. Back. 
that means we're good to go. So I'll see you in about, well, whenever I get home from work, in about 12 hours. Bye. Okay, everyone, it has been lots of time, and this is what we have. Katie put cheese in it and carrots. And I will get a spoon. This is what it looks like right now, and I am going to take my emulsifying blender and blend this up a little. It's very cheesy, very creamy. So I'm just plugging this in, and then you just put this in. Yum O. Oh. So I'm going to rinse this off real fast. Actually, I'll just put it in there. Um, and then she also got two bread bowls from for us from Paradise Bakery. So yay. So that one's for her. And she's at dance right now, so she's not going to be able to eat with me, but I'm just going to take a little plate, take my bread bowl, pull the top off, and then pull the insides out. And then it looks like this, and they already kind of prep it for you, so it makes it real easy. And I will just put my soup inside, and I'll top it with a little bit more cheese, and that will do it. guys this is what it looks like mm -mm, good hope you try it hope you like it let me know thanks bye bye